Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. We have... <laughs> President Gelle, he extends uh, his uh, congratulations and blessings to the citizens. For the international scene, the race for Angela Merkel's seat is on. Welcome to our newsroom. Ramadan Mubarak to all Muslims. Uh, just like in other Muslim countries, Jerusalem are entering uh, the blessed month of Ramadan in the year Hijr 1449. Tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, Ramadan is one of the pillars of Islam, the first one, and it remains a highly anticipated month for Muslims. Uh, the member of the High Islamic Council announced this last uh, night on RTD. On this occasion, the President of the Republic addressed his traditional message of good wishes to the population. We will listen to it in this newspaper. But before that, an important news concerning the working hours. Indeed, uh, a decree issued yesterday by the President of the Republic set the working hours uh, of the administration. On the occasion of the advent of the blessed month of Ramadan, the President of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, sent his warmest congratulations and blessing to the citizens of Djibouti and Muslims of all over the world, stressing the great importance of this month when God Almighty revealed the Holy Quran. The head of state noted that the month of Ramadan is our precious opportunity to advance the person, purify oneself is uh, cultivate the soul and time it uh, with uh, patience and obedience uh, in increase and increase the act of good deeds uh, and strengthen the spirit of solidarity brotherhood uh, he added we must seize this great opportunity and embody the noble values and objectives of ramadan in faith uh, so that we meet for it uh, that the f he forgives us uh, our past and future sins uh, the president of the republic recalled that the blessed man of ramadan comes as uh, last year the world continues to struggle with the COVID-19 pandemic, and despite the discovery of a number of vaccines, uh, this pandemic is uh, still widespread and remains an unprecedented health uh, challenge regarding ways uh, to deal with the threat of this uh, deadly epidemic. Uh, he urged the compliance with the preventive uh, measures and vaccination, asking God to protect us all the president uh, stressed that trusting in good require in God requires hand hard work and compliance with the instructions and directives of the relevant authorities as well as the receipt of vaccines that have become available in our country since last month's commenting on the recent elections President Gele Ismail Umar, uh, President Ismail Umar Gele, said last Friday, April 9, 2021, our beloved country was as, uh, uh, at the, with a new history in the file of democracy practice uh, as it witnessed a democratic wedding followed by the world and through which Jewishians have uh, once again demonstrated their high consciousness and great political maturity. We express our pride in the impressive patriotic image that characterize the electoral process. I am pleased to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to the great people of Djibouti for renewing their confidence in me to continue the battle of constructions and progress. Uh, we pledge to join the process of national action uh, in a new sprite. The head of state affirmed the need of the nation for all its citizens, uh, calling all on all to work to move forward to achieve uh, a prosperous future and comprehensive development. Uh, comprehensive uh, development uh, covering various files. علينا شهر رمضان الفضيل والعالم لا يزال مصارع جائحة كوفيد 19 وبالرغم من اكتشاف عدد من اللقاحات فإن هذه الجائحة ما زالت مستفرية على نطاق واسع جدا وما زالت تشكل تحديا صحيا 
لم يسبق له مثيل ولا سبيل لمواجهتها إلا بالتقيد بالإجراءات الاحترازية والتدابير الوقائية وأخذ اللقاح وندعو الله في هذا الشهر الفضيل أن يحفظنا جميعا وأن يكلل المساعي المبذول بالنجاح ويكشف البلاء ويرفع الوباء عن بلادنا وسائر بلدان العالم أجمع وبارك لكم الشهر الفضيل سائلا المولى عز وجل أن يعيده علينا وعلى الأمة الإسلامية جمعاء بوافر اليم والخير والبركات وكل عام وأنتم بخير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, has received a message of congratulations from his Yemeni counterpart, Mr. Abdu, Mr. Abdu Rabbo Mansur Hadi, following the, his uh, re-election to the Supreme Magistracy of our country. In his uh, message, uh, the Yemeni President held uh, a re resounding victory, a sign of the overwhelming support that Jebusians have for the political leadership of their country. The renewed uh, confidence you have just received will enable you to continue your effort to further connect your country to the socio-economic development to which our, your people aspire. The Yemeni president wrote, I would also like to express my warm congratulations to the brotherly people of Djibouti for their unwavering political maturity and democratic cultures of consistently embracing elections that are always uh, fair and transparent. Uh, the Ethiopian Prime Minister, His Excellency Abiy Ahmed Ali, also addressed his uh, warm congratulation uh, to President Gele and says the opportunity of the re-election of the President of the Republic uh, to reiterate his country's commitment to remain an effective and constant neighbor and partners of Djibouti and constant partner of Djibouti. It should be recalled that the Ethiopian president, Ms. Sahle Worke Zoude, had already last Saturday in a telephone conversation expressed his person, her warm congratulations to her Djiboutian counterpart, also expressing the wish for more progress uh, and prosperity to the brotherly people of Djibouti. The president of the republic received the best wishes of his counterpart, uh, at the advent of Ramadan, and the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, received these days uh, at the advent of the blessed month of Ramadan, the best wishes of his uh, counterpart, Herf State, and government of Muslims' country. In the telegram, they sent him the Muslim leaders uh, all wish health and happiness to the Herf State. Uh, they also wish more progress. Uh, uh, development, uh, prosperity to the Djiboutian people. May God continue to surround the Republic of Djibouti with his paraca so that it remains uh, invariably under the sign of its may God continue to surround the Republic of Djibouti with his uh, so that uh, it remains uh, the sign of this uh, legendary stability, cohesion, harmony and unity one can also read uh, in several of the messages sent by these leaders. Uh, on the occasion of the blessed mass of Ramadan, the Minister of uh, Muslim Zafar's Culture and Work for Property, Mumin Hassan Barre, made a statement in uh, which he presented his best uh, wishes and sincere congratulations to the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, and to the Jebusian people, imploring the God Almighty to fill us with his uh, uh, divine graces and blessings. Uh, regarding the reception of this uh, holy man, uh, the minister stressed that all arrangements have been made for the faithful uh, to perform their prayers in mosque in good conditions regarding additional preventive measures to prevent the coronavirus epidemic. The minister said that that the directives have been uh, given to imams to take the necessary precautions to preserve uh, the health of the faithful and not to spread the disease, especially in these days when uh, the number of positive cases is uh, increasing significantly. 
the food situation on the eve uh, of the holy mass of Ramadan remains unchanged. Uh, an RTD team uh, went uh, to the shop and the wholesalers, uh, wholesalers uh, to find out that the prices of food stuff remains unchanged for most uh, of the food stuffs. Uh, according to the Ministry of Commerce, the prices of food stuff remains unchanged, uh, as indicated by the latest. Uh, uh, mercurial uh, it is asked to the local traders to comply with the latest mercurial which uh, fixes the prices of uh, basic uh, food stuff uh, during the holy mass of ramadan healthy adult muslims uh, fast daily from dawn until sunset uh, traditional uh, the fast uh, is uh, broken is at sunset with a meal called iftar and then another meal she is taken just uh, before down called suhur it has uh, been shown that fastness can have positive effects on health the vizier of uh, tajura ahmed shaham ahmed addresses in the name of the committee of the sultanate of tajura and in his own name his warm congratulations to the president of the republic uh, ismail omar Gele for his uh, overwhelming uh, victory in the first round of the presidential elections of April 9, 2021. The Vizier Ahmed Shaham uh, takes this opportunity to salute uh, the maturity and patriotism of Djibouti people who have uh, exercised uh, their civic right in full freedom by choosing you democratically and uh, unanimously by universal uh, suffrage. Uh, the president of the Regional Council of Tujura, Mr. Omar Hussein Omar, addresses on behalf of the population of Tujura and in his own name his warm congratulations to the president of the republic following his victory in the presidential election. Uh, the president of the Regional Council, Omar Hussein, said uh, that Djiboutian people have expressed themselves by an overwhelming majority in favor of youth for the leadership of our nation. The main coordinator of the EOJ21 uh, Obok presidential campaign, Mr. Kasim Harun Ali, congratulate the elected president, president uh, Ismail Omar Gele. Congratulations to our president who has been elected for another term. For an another term, the overwhelming victories with a rate of 98% uh, shows perfectly the confidence of Djiboutians in you and in your adhesive policy. I am confident that Djibouti will find uh, a wise leader is uh, faithful to his uh, ideals and attentive to his people. The statement by the Somali Regional Academy on my own behalf, on behalf of the Somali Regional Academy, it is a great honor and pleasure for me to extend my sincere congratulations to you, Mr. President, on the historic uh, uh, victory of the people of Djibouti who have once again uh, uh, unequivocally elected you to lead progress. It is uh, gratifying to see the political maturity and high intelligence of the Jerusalem people recognize that they deserve a reward from uh, the leaders who has made progress in all aspects of the nation's pride. The president of the Afar Pen, Mr. Alwan Burhan Alwan, addressed his warm congratulations to the president of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, for his uh, re election. The president of the National Electoral Commission, Farah Abdullahi Waliye, made a statement this morning on RTD following the presidential elections of April 9, 2021, which took place uh, in a calm and serene uh, manner with high voter turnout. Uh, the first result of the Minister of Interior announced a clear victory of the outgoing president and uh, UMP candidate Ismail Omar Gele. In his statement, he praised the democratic commitment of the Jerusalem people. He also praised the role of the media, especially RTD, which mobilized uh, to report to the population the activities of the candidates uh, during the campaign and the live broadcastings of the proclamations of the results during the evening. 
the Minister of Defense uh, in charge of relation with Parliament, Hassan Umar uh, Muhammad, uh, received today Monday, April 12, 21, uh, at, uh, nine e at 9 a.m. Uh, at his office is the courtesy visit of the Ambassador of the United States of America, Jonathan Pratt, accompanied by the commanders of the American base, uh, Major General Lapse Flora. The meeting took place uh, in the presence of the Chief of Staff of the Ministry, Major Elias uh, Abdullahi Gele, the Minister of Defense in charge of relations with Parliament, Hassan Umar Mohammed, welcomed his host to the Republic of Djibouti as part of his uh, assumption of duty as the new ambassador. After the word of welcome, the two men discussed the state of bilateral relations between the Republic of Djibouti and the United States. Uh, um, United States of America, particularly cooperation in the fight of defense. Uh, they discussed ways and means to promote them. For his part, the ambassador thanked the Minister of Defense in charges of relation with Parliament for the warm welcome he had given him. So he then praised the excellence uh, of and quality of the ties of friendship and uh, cooperation between the two countries. The ministry in charge of uh, decentralization is uh, continuing its effort to equip itself with a reference tool for communication uh, in our national languages, enabling them to fully assume their uh, very important role as a vector for informing and sensitizing uh, our fellow citizens on government actions in general on its program within the framework of the deployment of the ground on the ground uh, uh, ro the roadmap of the decentralization policy the local development in particular thus uh, the mo the this monday 12 april is the second day of the technical uh, workshop uh, to which this department uh, invited yesterday at the conference rooms of the institute of political studies as a rather large and representative uh, panel of media professionals uh, linguistic uh, researcher communicator communicators uh, and of sectoral ministries and other uh, stakeholders In her speech, uh, the minister Muna Osman Aden was pleased to take part in this uh, uh, to take part in this ceremony. She praised the efforts undertaken by the ministry in charge of decentralization since its uh, creation to enable the deployment of the ground on the decentralization policy, which uh, she stressed was a team to which the head of state attached great importance. The policy aims to facilitate, she said the rapprochement of the administration to the citizens. In his uh, opening speech, uh, Mr. Hamadou Mohamed Aramis thanked the participant uh, in, in this uh, workshop for their willingness to support him in his uh, initiative uh, as in the first workshop in November 27. 2017, he again stressed the importance of our national languages as a means of communication on the decentralization process and local development. This time, he also stressed, uh, stressed the, the key role of RTD journalists and producers in popularizing the vocabulary in national languages uh, produced uh, by this uh, rich and diverse panel. The ambassador of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Mr. Berhanu Tiskeye, paid a visit uh, to the Damerjok Industrial Park this morning, Friday, this uh, Monday, uh, 12 uh, April 2021. Upon his arrival at the port of Damerjok, the Ethiopian ambassador was received by the president of the port and prison authority, Abu Bakar Omar Hadi. An introduction uh, and general presentation of Djibouti International Free Trade Zone was made for the ambassador on the various advantages offered by the DFTZ. The Mr. Tesgay also took the opportunity to visit the construction site of the Damerjog oil jetty. The objective of this visit was to assess the progress of the Damerjog oil jetty, which is uh, already 2,200 2, meters long in the sea.
The Republic of Djibouti has granted today a large batch of masks, including 1 million for Mogadishu and 500,000 for Hargeisa. Manufactured the FA in the Djibouti International Free Zone, uh, these masks were, uh, were transported in the late afternoon by our airline Air Djibouti. This gesture in favor of these brotherly and friendly people is part of the effort to fight against COVID-19 and will contribute to stemming its spread. His Excellency Diyadin Said Mamakrama, Ambassador uh, to the of the Republic of Djibouti to Saudi Arabia, and his capacity as the permanent representative of Djibouti to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, participate in a mission with the delegations of the Organization Islamic Cooperation Contact Group on the conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, which uh, visited the Nagorno Karabakh uh, territories on Azerbaijan, in particular the cities uh, recently liberated uh, by the Azerbaijani forces, which were destroyed by the Armenian forces in 1991 during the first war, the first uh, war, such as uh, the city of uh, Adgam and the city of Kashmir Karabakh territory in Azerbaijan, and in particular the city recently liberated uh, by the Azerbaijan forces, uh, which were destroyed by the Armenian forces in 1991. Uh, during the first war, such as uh, Adjam and uh, Brada, the organization of the Islamic Cooperation Delegation also visited the city of uh, Ganja, where it was recently attacked during the last war in October 2020 by Armenian ballistic missiles. Uh, the delegation during the visit had very important meeting with the high-level Azerbaijani officials, such as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, assistant to the President of the Republic for Foreign Political Affairs. For the international scene, uh, Germany, the race for Angela Merkel's seat is on. Uh, its official two men are running for the conservative nominations uh, to try to take Angela Merkel's place uh, for the CDU, the Chancellor parties. Uh, the candidate is uh, Armin Laschet, uh, the current leader of the Christian Democratic Union. His uh, CSU opponent is uh, the 40 year all leaders of the Bavarian land, a former journalist is named Marcus Soder. According to the polls, the 60 years old Armin Laschet is much less popular than his opponents. Armin Laschet is uh, close to Angela Merkel and recently came under fire after proposing a strict uh, lockdown on the country to curb the COVID-19 epidemic. Marcus Soder is a favorite is a favorite by German voters poll, by, but the CDU usually nominates the candidates for the chancellor's chief. Uh, the conservatives are expected uh, to decide between the two men uh, by 24 May. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have a good evening.